Hi everyone, I'm Tom. Today I'm going to be playing Beer Empire, which as you might have guessed is a game all about brewing beer and trying to do it the best really. We are trying to compete with the judges at the beer festival and also in the markets. The markets are going to want to buy certain types of beer. The judges are going to want to are going to prefer different things in the beer as well. So we need to balance those things out. So these are our player boards. I'm playing a two player game today against Little Glass Marty there. And we start off, everyone starts off with the same things. It's just these three tiles here. You have a quick preparation round, but I've just done that already where everybody takes uh, one of each tile and then you take an experience tile as well which we will see in a little bit. You start off with four workers of your colour and since I'm first player I started off with two bottle caps, Marty started off with three and there's also a little you bid for each one of these and whoever has control is going to get slightly more points if they manage to impress the market but we'll see that as we start brewing the beer. So we've had everything in the, the first phase and the, the last thing in preparation is the planning phase but I thought I'd show that because it's, uh, it's an important part of the game. So we have these workers and they can go in this schedule here. So you'll see the different times that they will start work and the different things that they'll do. So I've got four workers and I can have multiple workers in the same space but I can only have one thing in each row and one box of each column activated and the things that they do are this is about getting things out of your warehouse and to be able to brew them into a beer so if I want this and this I am going to need three brown boxes and two green boxes so the way it works is if my guy comes into work and he starts work at eight he's working all day so he is going to generate three brown boxes and three green boxes, which is enough to do both of those for me. Uh, should I need more? Should I want all of these out at once? I could put two people starting at eight o'clock there. It does mean, though, that these other two things, they have to start later and I don't get as many. And that's the little puzzle of arranging your workers. So for this first round, I think I'm going to go big. The way that I have uh, arranged everything, the the tiles that I took to be able to make the beer, I have seen that based on the popularity at the moment, the, these are the types of beers. There's always lager, which is always just in the middle and there's no benefit for that. We have the slightly less popular ones up here, the Pilsner and the Ale, and then India Pale Ale and Stout are the more and more popular ones right now. And I am just going for Stout. I saw that there was only one more brown available in the market and I grabbed it because you start off with one and I got another one. So I am the only one that can make this stout at the moment because you don't start with two. So that's what I'm planning on doing. So to do that, two of these browns are going to have to come out and you know the way the, these got put out is based on the starting order. You can't rearrange these, it's just they will slide up as you take things out. So I'm going to need four brown and two uh, green to be able to do that, because I want the one that's got the special power, which we'll see in a bit. So to get four brown, I'm gonna need to put two people there. I'm, I'm gonna need to put two people either way. So maybe I'll do it there, just in case. So I only need one each of these, and I only need one of these. We'll see that in a second. So yeah, I don't think I mind. I'll go there just in case I wanna change the markets, and I will go there because I've only got one experience tile. Marty is going to be going for India Pale Ale because it's the second most popular and he just couldn't make the stout. So he needs a light or a dark one. He's got a light there. And so he's going to need three and two. So he could just start there if he wanted to. And then one each of these. So it doesn't matter where he goes here and here. Uh, and he is going, since he doesn't need all of his people, there is one more place you can put your worker. You can put him on the market. And it basically means at the end of the round, when we're getting ingredients for next round, Marty will get to pick from this column as well as these other three. And this column refreshes as soon as anything's taken from it. These columns don't refresh for until the next round. So we've had the planning phase. Now we move on to the actual first round and the brewery phase. So the first phase, the first step in it is work in the brewery. So we move the resources from the warehouses. I have four brown and four green. So I'm going to bring out three, four, and then I am going to do this green. I only need one green. And you can make any recipe you want, basically. If you want to, if you've got certain tiles and you're really going to be able to impress the judges with, with what you've got, that's completely fine. You can do whatever you want. In fact, this market tile here is going to reward you for putting three of the light uh, hops in. No recipes call for that. 
So you're not going to be fulfilling a recipe if you're going for this market tile, but you can get a lot of points for doing it, especially if you're the only one doing it. Uh, anyway, I'm making stout. So I've got two and one to show that I'm making stout. And you will also need a way of fermenting it, this closed or open fermentation. And then how are you storing it? Bottles, cans, barrels, kegs. I have gone for barrels because, uh, and both of these are because, the judge right now wants barrels or kegs and closed fermentation. And there is a market tile out there for closed fermentation that only I have gone on. So these workers are done. Now this one, I can move one of my bottle caps. I only started the game with two, so I haven't really got majorities here. I can move one of my bottle caps around. I'm not going to, because if I move off here, Marty becomes the majority leader here and will get an extra point if he manages to fulfill the condition, which is have three or more of the bonus tokens on the beer that you brewed. So I'm just going to leave that. It's just because you have to put them in different columns. I didn't really care about the power of that. So I've got one of each of these, so I'm going to put those there as well. And then finally, it's your experience tiles. So we start the game by picking one. These are the available ones for this round. And you've got these slots to put them down. Basically, it means that I can negate a negative aroma uh, token and I will get an extra visual token. So that's me done. We can move over to Marty, and he wanted to make India Pale Ale, didn't he? So he's going to get that one, that one, and then these two. And he's got one as well, which he started the game with. His gives him an extra colour token, same as mine, and negates a negative colour token. And we save this for the end when he goes to the market. So we have done that. We have played Experience of Passion Tiles, moved shares on markets. All of that is done. Now we move on to the brewing phase and brewing resolution, which is all of these things. So for the characteristics check, we look at all of these tokens here. So I have got a color and a bonus one from my experience tile. So I can take two green ones for that. I have got one, two aroma tokens. I would normally have to get rid of one because there's a negative one and it just negates the same type if you've got positives, but I have got that power that stops that being taken away. And that is all of the uh, different tokens that I get from that. Now this tile that I'm using gives me a point. So now that I'm making the beer, I get a point. So I am in the lead for however long that lasts. You also get bottle caps. Now some give you bonuses, give you bonus bottle caps and you can use all of those together and get a ton at once. But you always, whether you ended up with zero or you know a load of negative uh, bottle cap things, you always get one. So I've got one more bottle cap there. So now we check on the beer's type. And we already know that it's going to be stout. It's got two of the dark hops. And then it's got, it doesn't matter about fermentation, it's got two of these and one of these. And that's all you need to be able to make these. So next is check the beer type. We already know that the stout needs two dark malt and one hops, which it's got, so I have made stout. Since I've made something that's in high demand, I get an experience tile. And so this is an extra one I can put out in future if I put the worker in a space where I can put more than one out. And I will get this bonus as well. So I can keep getting more things. This is a taste token, and I can negate another negative blue. Or I could just go for some points. I think I might just go for points. I'm going to get this one here. And they're on different sides, uh, which we will we will see later. This doesn't get activated right away. I have to put it out in a future round by planning. So now we have the market points check. Uh, we look at everywhere that I have got one of my bottle caps and see if I satisfied it. So did I have three or more positive tokens on the beer? Yes, I did. So I'm going to get two points for that. Did I use closed fermentation? Yes, I did. So I get two for the tile, plus one because I am the leader of this tile, so I get three more. And then I haven't got any on these bottom two. Also for making the stout, I'm going to get five extra festival points when we resolve that at the end of the second round, because I am submitting this. This is the next, uh, the next part. Do you want to submit this to Beer Fest? So since I'm submitting it, we put all of the things in a nice big pile, and I put it in my section of the festival area of the board. So we can evaluate it. Now that's not locked in. Uh, I can change that in the second round. I can submit another beer. 
but I think that's going to be quite nice for the festival. I'm satisfying him a lot. So he's going to be, as a sneak preview, he is going to be looking for the aroma of the beer. He's going to give three extra festival points if you've got an aroma token, which I have. And uh, this is decided by the market tiles that come out. You see, they've got in these red and green sections here, they've either got positive or negative, and you just work them out. You don't have negative ones. If it, if it goes below zero, you just don't put anything. Uh, but, you know, it had two positive aroma, one negative aroma, so it ended up with one aroma. Now we can move on to Marty. So he gets one, two, three color tiles, a taste tile, and... He doesn't get an extra bottle cap because this uh, cancels each other out. So there, was, there, was, there wasn't really a better thing available for him at the time. Uh, the better things came out. So he's going to get one bottle cap. He doesn't get any extra points. Uh, and he's going to get these things. He's making an India Pale Ale, remember? So he still gets an experience tile. But unless he can make something better, I don't think it's going to beat mine. So he's going to get an experience tile. I think he is going to go for... I think he wants more bottle caps. He's going to go for more control in the market. So we've done the beer type check, and now it's the market points. So he's on here. He did have three or more tokens, so he's going to get two points. And where else is he? Did he have two or more uh, color tokens? Yes, he did. So he's going to get two four points. So he has caught right up. Next step would be the beer fest phase, and there's only one of those at the end of rounds two, four, and six. So we don't have one in round one. Now we have the market phase. So first of all, we have market changes. We check to see if, depending on the number of players, and in a game with more than two players, you would have more market tiles available as well, you see if these limits have been reached. So as soon as four caps are on any of these top ones, or six on these bottom ones, they will be replaced by new ones. That hasn't happened yet. Now we assign new shares. So we go by, one by one, we go through these and we can bid on how many shares we want to put on them. So we bid for them one by one. We've only got one bottle cap each. I want to be in control of this, so I am going to bid for this one here. Marty only has one bottle cap. We'll see what he's going to do. So I reveal one. Marty bid his as well, because I thought we might fight over this one, because it's good to get some closed fermentation, but there are no closed fermentation tiles available, so Really, that one's irrelevant that my thing's on there. I might want to move him, move it off just for the next round because there's no point in it being there. Okay, then. So that is the market phase. Then we have the supply phase. So one at a time, we are going to take tiles from here and put them in our warehouses. Uh, the gap in my warehouse should have moved up, by the way. But yeah, we're going to take these one at a time and you decide. But since Marty was the only one that put one of his workers on his marketplace space, he is the only person that gets access to these. I get access to these and they don't refill. So if I want to try and make a stout, I'm going to have to have one of these uh, dark malts. So I'm going to go for one of those. I don't think I'm going to be submitting it to the beer fest because I think with closed fermentation and everything, I've got a really good one as it is. So if Marty wants something he, Marty could actually make a stout because he's got his dark malt that he started with, so he's going to take this other one. So now that's off the table for me. So I might as well just try and make something with as many caps or something as possible, maybe. Now I'm going to take this one because I can stop that and I can get two caps. Marty's going to take one of these. I need something to put this in, so let's keep going... It's tempting to get that. Oh, I can't get that anyway. Uh, but yeah, let's keep going down the money route for this round. Marty. Can he needs something to put the stuff in and something to ferment it all. He does want tokens, though. He wants three or more still. So, yeah, he's not going to go for that many bottle caps. He's going to get... He's going to get this one, I think, because it gives him another positive token. And the others are all negative, so he's going to take that one. As for me, I can keep taking until my warehouse is full or until I pass. Uh, I think... Yeah, it wouldn't be a bad thing to get one of these that would give me an extra token. Marty needs something to put his in. I think he's just going to take this one. I'll take the easy way out. Because then he's going to have two colour ones as well, so that'll be okay, I think. I'm going to pass. We're both going to pass there. So now we have the planning phase, which is this again for round two. 
So I think I definitely want some moving around. I definitely want to put two of these out now. But where does that leave me with getting these out of here? I'm going to need two of these, and then I've got plenty of them. So if I put my two workers there, I'm still not going to the marketplace, though. I'm still not having that option. I don't think Marty really leveraged it as much as he could have. Oh, all of these spaces as well in the, in the market fill back up. So Marty needs four up here, so he needs at least... At least two people going up there, so he's not going to go to the marketplace, is he? If he wants to make the pale ale. Does he... If he wants to make the stout. Does he care, though? Maybe he'll just make a pale ale. Yeah, that seems like a better thing to do, because he can't... Without the closed fermentation, that's, that's two stars to have closed fermentation. Yeah, and he couldn't get the right uh, storage method anyway. He's going to stick with what he's got. I think he's going to lose the festival, but let's see what he can do in the meantime. He is going to try and move something. He's not going to put his bottle cap one out just yet. He's just going to put one experience tile out. There we go. That's how we're doing it. So I can put two of these out. So I'm going to put this new one out. And I am taking out this one, aren't I? Taking out these things. So Marty is doing these things. And he's just doing one of these. So now we come to market changes. I'm still first player because I'm last. Even though we've got the same number of points, I'm underneath. So I'm going to have to do mine first. And my plan was to bring this over there. So that's what I'm going to do and briefly be in charge. But I think Marty is just going to move his from this to here because he's still in charge of this now. And now he's just, uh, he's just cancelled out my lead again. Okay then. So... We can move on to brewing. So what am I brewing? I am brewing a nice India Pale Ale and I get two greens and a yellow and we could ignore the negative one there. I get a point and three caps. Because it's an India Pale Ale, I can take an uh, achievement tile. So what would I like? An experience tile, I should say. I think I would like more ways of getting tokens. Yeah, let's get that. And do I want to submit it to... Oh, we do the market check. So has it got three or more tokens on it? Yes, it's got three tokens. So I get two points for that. I've got nothing anywhere else, though. And then we... Am I, am I submitting it to the beer fest? No, I'm not. So all of this stuff just goes away. Marty's, he is going to get two yellow, a blue, and a green. He's only going to get one cap overall, because you can't go below zero, below one. And then he gets a point. He's made another India Pale Ale, so he can get an experience tile. Let's see, he'll go for points. So he's got some options. For the markets, has it got three or more? Yes, so he gets two points. Has it got at least two of these? Yes, so he gets four more points. Wow. Four. So he is taking the lead right now. He's not submitting that to the beer fest either, so he can discard all of that stuff. Because I don't think he will win either way in the beer fest. I think the one he's got is a bit better. So now we can look at the beer fest. So let's take a look at my thing. So what, what does the reviewer care about? It was a stout, so that gives me five points. I have a blue token in there, so that's eight points. It is is in a barrel, so that's 10, and it's closed fermentation, so that's 12 festival points that I have gotten. We look at Marty's, he made India Pale Ale, so three. He didn't get a blue, but he did put it in a barrel and use closed fermentation, so he has got seven. So now we can look at this. These are the awards for winning the Beer Fest, and are in a two-player game, the winner gets two, the loser gets one but we take them in turns. So I am going to take this one, which is an extra worker. So I can grab that and he will be available to make it a bit easier on my planning. Now Marty, he can either have two points, three caps, or this passion tile. And passion tiles, you have to have enough uh, workers to put them out, the same as experience tiles, but you can put them in between and they will double the things that they are pointing at. 
I think Marty kind of wants this, so I don't get it. Or maybe he'll just keep pushing for points. I think he's going to take this. So he's going to take that, and then I am going to take... I think I'm going to take two points, catch up a little bit. Then the trend track changes. The most popular beer, the Stout, now becomes the least popular, so Ale is coming into the equation. And you can brew the, the less popular ones in a round where you're not going to submit to the beer fest. You could purposely do one of these because then you'll get to adjust your things on the market as well when you brew. And now we have the market phase. So the mo there is a market change. There is four or more. There's six on there, as a matter of fact. And so since it's in the top row, it's going to come down like this. I'd be in the second row now. This one gets pushed off. We flip this one over that's just gotten pushed off and see if we change anything. We might end up changing characteristics of the beers. They've got these spaces. They may end up needing extra things to uh, brew them as the game goes on. A new market tile enters that space and it's going to provide a positive for everything. So we need an extra positive on here. So that's how many of each thing is, is the review going to look at. Now this one is already at the limit of the space it's just been moved to, but it's going to be okay for a round. It's going to come off in the next round. So the new one that's come out wants you to have four ingredients in any combination, but four ingredients. So now we have the bidding. Who wants to bid for this new one? I think I'm not going to bid for that. On this one, I think I'm going to bid one. Yeah, I'm going to bid one. And Marty's only got one. Is he going to bid that? I I don't think he is. He's going to let me have that, which could be a mistake. And then we come to this next one. Oh, I've still got two. I think, I think I'm worried that Marty's going to go for this again, so I'm going to bid both of my things. And Marty's not bidding anything for that. He doesn't care. He's going to try and strengthen his position on this one. Well, I have just taken control of a lot of stuff, but he just didn't have the caps. He's going to have to work on that. He's got points, but not the bottle caps. And that might work against him in the future. So now we have the supply phase, and neither of us can take from that first column. I think I'm going to go for submitting to the festival, and I am going to get some India Pale Ale. I am going to keep going for the tokens, though. So let's, let's grab a light malt. Marty's thinking the same. He is going to go for this because he wants this symbol anyway. We should see a new reviewer before we do this as well. The new reviewer only cares about open fermentation and wants uh, all of these things. Can go three, two, three, depending on the characteristics. So we really want those blues. A lot of points to be had. So next, I can negate one of these. So I'm going to go for open fermentation, even though my my thing wants me to go for closed. I want to win their beer fest again. And doesn't care what it's in. She doesn't care what it's in at all. So Marty is going to go for the thing that gets blues. He's going to be not having caps again, but it'll be okay. Then I am going to take, I think I want to take this and get some more caps. Marty's going to go for points. And I think I, I think I'm going to go for points on here as well. Marty, he can negate one of these negative yellows, so he'll take one of those, although it just balances out the cap that he's losing, so he doesn't really care. Maybe he'll just leave it and just use the hops that he's got from the beginning of the game. Yeah, I think that's it. So the planning phase, what do I want? So if I want to make this pale ale, I need two of each. I might want to move these things around because this is leaving uh, next round and all of these are going to be lost. So maybe I want to take some off since I overbid for it. And I want three of these out. So I can put two workers on there. Oh, yeah, I can't. Let's just have two of them out and I want access to the marketplace. So we will just leave this one off, I think, the extra point one. Marty needs three on there. Uh, he doesn't care about the next one, but he does want... Yeah, he's going to put all four of his things out, I think. He's going to put both of his things on there. And remember, one's doubled because of the passion tile. So we can move on to round three of six. 
Okay then, so we've got all of the stuff that we need to move the stuff out. I'm just gonna do that quickly. The experience tiles, I can put two of my three out, so we'll leave that one off. Marty, what does he want to double? He can double up getting these tokens on. And the points, maybe. Moving shares, I'm doing this. Since Marty didn't go for it. One, two, three, four, five. So I can take one off here. And I could put it on here. I'm not going to be the leader, but... I'm going to get something if I manage to do that. So it's worth it, I think. So the brewing resolution. I get one, two greens and can negate a negative one. So two positive greens, a yellow, two caps, and a point. Do I want to submit it to the beer fest? It's not got any blues. What was I thinking? Yeah, I think we can maybe do better next round, but we might as well submit it to the beer fest. It was a, what was it? It was an India Pale Ale. So I can take an experience tile. I think I will get another point one. Yeah, let's get one on the top. Maybe we can double that off with a passion tile. Marty is making one as well. Oh, wait a minute. We needed two hops. We would have got that though. Uh, I think Marty, Marty would have taken the one that he was taking that he could negate. So yeah, a little bit of a backtrack there. Hopefully we uh, haven't made it wrong in a previous round. We probably have, thinking about it now. Uh, but yeah, I would just have used this one. And Marty would just have picked up another one. Okay, Marty's thing. He can cancel that out. So he is going to get a blue a and two yellows he gets one cap because sadly these cancel each other out and he gets oh he gets an extra yellow actually because that's doubled although he should have known he doesn't need any of that maybe he should have doubled the caps and not that yeah because then he'd get another cap and it doesn't matter if he gets this extra one or not because the judge doesn't care the judge only cares about one so there's no point in getting loads So he's going to get one, two, three points. One, two, three. Then it's an India Pale Ale. So, oh, there's super loads more here. He is going to, I think he's going to keep going for points. And I think he's going to double up on the points faster than I can do it. New one comes out. And market points. Oh, we should check this for mine. <laughs> Never remember. So mine had three tokens on it, so I get four points. One, two, three, four. Did it have two yellows? It did not, so I don't get that. Marty's does satisfy both of those, so he gets two, three, four, five, six. And he might as well submit his. I think we could both do a much better job if we managed to get some more blues. Marty has got one. So first of all, market changes. This one's full. So if something's full in the second row, you pull it down the same. Everybody loses all of these bottle caps. Flip it over. And this is going to affect Pilsner. And so from now on, Pilsner is going to need an extra hops to be able to make that. Until this goes away, of course, until something else slides down. This one slides down, even though it's got nothing on it. And a new one comes out, and we know this is going to affect ale later on. So this wants you to put things in a barrel or a keg, and it adds two of these. So we've, we've just lost the thing that was negating one of everything. Wow. So everything gets one more token up there. So now it is paying attention to both of Marty's yellows. But yellow is the, uh, the fewest points. And also it's adding two blues. So really, you want to just go crazy on blues. Two, four, five, yeah. Oh, there shouldn't actually be a yellow though, because this is a, a negative one, so there should be no yellows. <laughs> okay, so now we're signing shares. We've kind of uh, been, things have kind of been made a bit even for us now. We've got two each. So I think I can see, I can see a barrel available there, and I'm gonna get to go first. 
Do I want to just put both of them on there? I think I'm going to go for both of them on there. And Marty, yeah, Marty's going to bid for those as well. So we stopped each other getting up there. And this is going to move down next round as well. So then we have the supply phase. So if we really want to go for this, we want as many blues as possible. I'm going to grab this. But then Marty's going <laughs> to grab the other one, surely, and stop me from just being in control of it. I think I might go for caps. I'm just going to take this one. It's got some caps on it. Marty doesn't mind yellow because he gets some points for it. So he's going to take that dark malt. I'm going to grab this if I'm going to make another India Pale Ale. I want two of those things and it's worth a point. Marty's going to take this extra point one because he can negate this. I don't think he's going to resubmit anything to the festival. I think oh, I can negate this. So I want, I want open to try and impress the judge. The judge doesn't care what it's in. Marty is going to grab more points. And I will go for... I can stop a negative green, so let's go for loads of caps. So that's it. So we can move on to the planning phase. Oh, these should all come out again as well. Did, did I get anything fantastic that I want instead? No. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. So planning again. This is the end of round three. So I want three up here. I want four of these out. I only need one of those, so I can put one on the marketplace. That actually works out okay. I've got nothing fancy to do, so these four can just go straight out, I think. I can buy more as well. I can use four caps to buy a worker at any time, but uh, I haven't, uh, I've been spending them on uh, the, trying to get the majorities on these. Marty could do with an extra person to get an extra point. I think he is going to just put that over there, and he's going to double up on these. But he needs four. So what does he need to make the... I think he might just make ale. I don't think he can put all of those out. He's just going to have to stick with four, I think. Just so he can get the rest of these things out. Yep, he's going to do that again. So he can get these things out. I think he's just going to make a lager. And for me, I was going to try and make another one, wasn't I? So that can all go out. I can have those I've already worked out and I can go to the marketplace. Great. So we are in brewing, aren't we? So I am going to get, I can cancel out those two negatives. So I'm going to get blue, yellow, green, one of each. Blue, yellow, green. And then I'm going to get three bottle caps. One, two, three. And one, two, three, four points. One, two, three, four. Catching up a little bit. So, beer type. It's a pale ale. I can have another... Let's have something that gives me a blue. It's a bit late for that, though, isn't it? The judge is going away. I couldn't get anything else that would give me more blues. So now I have to decide, am I submitting to this to the beer fest? And here's a rule that we haven't had to come across yet. I can't go back to my stack and count the points. I have to remember. So do I think this is worth more than what I already submitted? It's got that. I can see that it's got the same number of tokens. I'm not sure if I had a blue though. No, I'm not going to submit it. Let's just get rid of it. I've just taken a quick look actually, now that I've decided and it would have been the same. So it didn't matter really. So Marty can ignore that and he is going to get two yellows and a blue there. This is just a lager. Oh, actually, it's not even a lager, is it? It's not a lager because it hasn't got a light malt. So this is nothing. So he doesn't get an experience tile, but he doesn't care. So points and bottle caps, he gets two, four, six points. Wow, it's really starting to rain outside. Hopefully that isn't coming up in the microphone too much. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bottle caps, he just gets one. And where are we from there? We've checked the type. Market points, check. Oh, we didn't do this for mine, did we? I chose the wrong type of thing to put mine in and it didn't have two of these and it was in open fermentation. So yeah, I've messed up completely on getting market points for mine. Marty will have a bit of an easier job because I've got his out still. Gets two for that. Wow, I'm really, really messing up for myself and Marty gets four for that. Oh dear, I'm getting left behind here. Marty isn't submitting it because this isn't a type. It's got no chance at the festival. And speaking of that, it's festival time. So for me, 
it was an India Pale Ale. So five points. I haven't got a blue. I've got two greens though. So six points, 11. And open fermentation means 13 festival points. Marty has a blue and no green. So that's three. It was an India Pale Ale. So that's five, eight. And it's open fermentation, so 10. So I win again. I think before Marty just snatches it straight away, I'm gonna take the passion tile. So I'm gonna get one of those. Marty is just gonna go for the points. He's just gonna say, forget you. I am gonna keep steaming along with points. And I think I am going to take I think I'm gonna take another person, so it's easier for me to keep putting all of these lovely things out. I can't put them all out now though. So we want a new judge, the final judge. And what does this uh, lovely Canadian lady want? She is, isn't particularly happy with anything. She, two points for each type, two points if you put it in a barrel or a keg, but she is not too fussed about anything there. Trend change, India Pale Ale is not as popular as it used to be. And now we have the market, so the market. So Pilsner never really got a chance to uh, even be affected because that's gone now. So we take that off because it's uh, been slid away. A new one comes out, this one's open fermentation. And so we've lost a positive for everything and gained two positive greens. So no love for, no love for the color of the beer that we're making. And now we have the bidding, so open fermentation. I'm gonna bid one for that. So we bid and I won. For this one, I think I'm happy with where we are on that. So I'm not gonna do either one. Marty isn't bidding on that either. The next one, barrels or kegs. Well, the judge wants that. I'm gonna put both of mine on there. Marty's gonna bid his as well, so we reveal. I put more on, sorry Marty but hopefully I can leverage these because I keep winning the bids and then messing up. Like, I, didn't I get no points at the market this round? Uh, assigning shares, we've done that. Supply phase, okay. So it's still me. I wanna make an ale. That's the, that's the thing of the moment. I wanna make an ale, preferably with great aroma and great taste. So I can get, let's get rid of this one. So I can get an aroma and a taste. So I can have up to four blue and three green. Although these two blues are gonna be going away because this is uh, gonna change. So I want as many blues and as many greens as possible. So let's take this, because that's a positive blue. Marty's looking the same way, but he can't get anything. Well, I missed the fact that there's only one keg available. He's gonna take that away. <laughs> Uh, I can negate a negative green or a negative yellow. I can take this one. And I don't really care. I've got Monopoly on both of the types of fermentation. Marty, he can negate this, so he'll take one of these hops. I want a dark malt, so that's okay. It's available. Marty needs some kind of fermentation. He can't negate any of these negative things though. Yeah, he'll just take something that's gonna cancel out one of his bottle caps. And I might as well take a point for the storage because I don't care about changing the color of it. I could have, oh yeah. Now I can keep taking them. Remember these refill at the marketplace, so I'm gonna take that. I have filled up this section, so I can't take any more, but I'm gonna get a blue on there now, an extra blue, so that's quite nice. And I can try that if I want to. Like I can take this, let's just do it and see if another one comes up with something good. It's a green. Yeah, I'll just leave it like that. So I think that's all we're taking. And we do the planning phase. So I'm gonna need three of the top kind. I am going to need two of this kind, which means I think I'll just put those there. So I want one, two, three, four, five. Maybe if we do this. Yeah, let's not go to the marketplace this time and just use all of our lovely workers like this. And how do we want to arrange it though? Let's go for points. I'm in desperate need of points. So let's double up the points. 
Marty is just going to do his like that. And so he is going to get these things out. So my beer is going to get a yellow. One, two, three blues and one green. Also, uh, oh, I get a negative yellow, which I can negate. Okay. Then it's going to get an extra one, two, three, four, five points. And one cap. Market points. I used closed fermentation, so I can get three points there. I didn't put it in one of those, so nothing there. And it hasn't got two or more of those. Oh, yeah, I'm still not doing a good job on the market. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. And yes, let's submit this. There's a lot of blues on there. Even though we didn't get the two points for the type, I think we might have made it up with the thing. Oh, it was an ale as well, so we can take a token. Let's take a, a positive green one just in case we need that. Marty, he can negate that. He gets two yellow tokens. He's going to earn one, two, one cap. And then he is going to get four points. One, two, three, four. As well as he put it in a keg. That's two points. And it's got two or more of these. That's four points. Marty has won this, hasn't he? <laughs> Shall we stop now? Oh, this is round five, isn't it? And does he want to put it into the beer fest? He might as well. I imagine he can do better next round because this isn't particularly great for the, the type that it is. So now the market phase, we fought over this one so much that this one's coming off now. Everyone loses all of those. And ale is gonna get a bit harder to make. You're gonna need an extra dark malt but that does mean one, two, three, four ingredients. Oh, that one's gone. <laughs> okay, <laughs> things are moving too quickly. It's this one, is it? No, that went away. I don't know what happened there. Okay, and we have this one that wants you to use two or more uh, hops, which is good if you want to make an Indian pale ale. So what's changing the things? We want two blues going off and also two greens going off because they're being negated, wow. So a bit better for Marty, that, because mine are loaded with those symbols. Now bidding, I think I am going to, I'm not going to bid on anything. Marty's not going to bid on any of the first few, I don't think. He's going to save it because he sees, yeah, he imagines that I'm waiting for this, and I was. So, yeah, we both bid on that one. Because it's a very easy one to do that, and it's got him so many points, I've tried and take it away from him. Uh, okay... So supply phase. So what do we really want? We want blues. We want keg stroke barrel. I didn't put anyone in the marketplace. Neither did Marty. So we can't have the only keg on display. But Marty's already got one with the keg in there. So it's okay. We want greens and blues. Is there anything that makes positive blue? No. I'm going to try and go for points. Maybe I'll use multiple hops and just try and just go for points. Not submit anything to the festival this round. And just desperately try for as many points as I can muster. Marcy's going to go for some positive green. I can negate this, so let's go for an extra cap, and I can get some points for using the fermentation type. Actually, no, forget the bottle caps. Yellows, because I've got that market tile that wants to use yellows. Marty will... Yeah, he might as well ensure that he's going to put a lot of uh, yellows on. I'm just going to go for the extra coin up there, I think. Marty is going to go for this one because he doesn't want any negatives. So we haven't really taken many negatives this round. You can take some negatives. So you lose a festival point for every two that you've got on uh, a beer. What do I need now? I think I'm okay. I think I don't, I don't care any, about anything else. Marty can only negate yellow, so he's going to have to lose something. here. He'll get a point for having to take a negative thing. So I think we're going to leave it there, are we? Yeah, we're going to leave it there. So planning phase for the last round the sixth round so i need three up here so i think we'll do that and have someone the marketplace doesn't matter so marty can just do the same thing i think he can move these up in fact and have this one on there to get another cap because you get um, a point for every two you get a point for every tileway the leader as well 
but it's a bit late for that. Um, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna come out well after that, but I'm gonna, I really need the points. So let's arrange our final beers then. So I've made some new type of beer. I'm gonna get. Yeah, this isn't gonna get submitted, is it? I'm gonna get a blue. A blue, a green, and a yellow. So one of each. So I haven't gone for two yellows again, but I couldn't have. The tiles just didn't come out for it. I am going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points. And just the one cap. Beer type, this is nothing. I get nothing for that. Uh, market points. It was made with closed fermentation, which gives me three points. One, two, three. Should have gone for open fermentation because that would have been four points. But uh, that's all hindsight. Didn't get that yet again. Uh, this isn't getting submitted to the beer festival because it is nothing. Marty's. So he is getting two yellows. No, three yellows. A green. And a negative blue. So he's, he's not going to submit this, I don't think. He gets an extra five points. One, two, three, four, five. And a bottle cap. He's not submitting that. So let's see who won the beer fest. For me, what's this? One of each. Oh, wow. Actually, this was an ale. Ale has just been changed. So I'm not sure if this counts as ale anymore because when it was made, it was ale. So I'm not sure if it counts now. I think we did we both make an ale? Yeah, we were both making ale, so either it counts for both of us or neither of us, it's okay. So let's uh, let's assume it does count. I don't know. So five. And then I had six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Didn't use the right um Oh I did, it's in a barrel. Sorry about two, four, six, eight, because it's in a barrel. Marty managed two. Okay, maybe more if it's the right type, but I definitely won it. So I'm definitely taking two points. Marty can take three caps, I suppose. That's that's two points because he's already got one cap. And then uh, I'll just take a worker, I suppose. And that is the end. The beer fest ends the game. So final scoring. Uh, we have our points up there. So a point for every two unused caps. Marty gets two more points as if he needs them. I uh, I had those extra two points from the thing. And a point for every tile where you're the leader. That's two for me, one for Marty. Marty wins this, 54 to 42. He is the definitely the superior beer emperor. So that was Beer Empire. I hope you enjoyed that. And it gives you a good idea of what the game is like, at two anyway. Uh, if you'd like to know what I think, then you can click the link on the screen at some point around there. You know, credits will be around here and there will be a, probably a little square here that says Beer Empire First Impressions. Anyway, I don't know why I'm going into that. Bye. <laughs>